mind, in mind. I know uh, Manny and Floyd got signed, but this question is more about Bradley. With that fight being able to be made, you know, an Al Heyman fighter versus a top-ranked fighter, do you think that opens up the door for maybe Tim Bradley going on network television soon, fighting one of the Heyman fighters on there? Of course. There's a lot of changes in boxing nowadays. As, as you saw, um, you know, uh, Golden Boys working with top rank. I mean, everything, everything happened in boxing. It's just uh, what the people want to see, and the best fights need to happen. I just think that um, this is a time. It should have happened a while back, but... If it happens now, I think it's the right time for Floyd and, and, and Pacquiao to uh, you know, dance together now. But it opens a lot of doors for a lot of fighters. Final question. I know the last time I asked you this question, you're, you said you're sick of the drama, you're sick of it. You want Manny and Floyd to either sign fight or just leave and just don't even bother with one another. But it's signed and it's going to happen. You broke down Algeri Pacquiao for us. Break down Pacquiao versus Mayweather. How does it go and who ultimately wins? It's very simple. The way I told you, I broke down the Algeri Pacquiao fight and it happened just the way I broke it down. For the fight with Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather, it's very simple. Floyd Mayweather is going to dictate the fight. He's going to get in there. He's going to feel Pacquiao. If he feels that he can jeopardize his his, uh, his undefeated record, he's going to just pick and move, make the boring fight, and, and just win. He don't care about anybody's opinion. He's just he will just uh, he will secure the win. But if he feels that he has some uh, some control over Pacquiao, he's going to make it a fight. Other than that, it's going to be a boring fight. Thanks for your time. Thank you for everything.